you guys, it's Melanie, and welcome back to Living Luxuriously for Less, where we celebrate, decorate, and enjoy everyday life for less. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a traditional Southern wedding. I hope that you guys enjoy it. This was done mostly by Lux Academy. I'm so proud of these students, and this was my first time ever, like, I didn't know what to do. We actually did two events in one day. This was the second event, and I want you guys to enjoy it. Please be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know your favorite part, and I am going to do the reveal, so stay tuned. Okay, you guys, so here is what the space looked like before. Um, I did provide the layout plan to the venue prior to us arriving and we also had chairs brought in from a local rental company as well and the Lux Academy students got to see this entire process they were able to see basically the steps that we took um, in order to bring that vision into fruition and if you would like to be a part of Lux Academy I have released our schedule for the remainder of this year so I will leave the link down below so that you guys can check it out it is a three-day master program and I teach you everything that you need to know about event design event decor event planning just everything that you need to know to get your business started I promise you you will not be disappointed many of my students walk away um, having all the information that they need and they are extremely successful in the event design and decor arena now let's get into the details about this event so for some of the uh, tables we did the lower center pieces they turned out absolutely amazing we did a full tablescape you guys know that i love getting the faux china from amazon if you guys are interested i will also leave that link down below and the mirrors were a diy using mirrors from the dollar tree and you can use your cricut or your um whatever cutting machine that you have um, in order to diy it so here is what the space looked like overall if you are interested in that over the table centerpiece and how to DIY it, I was actually going to host a class um, on it. So if you're interested in it, let me know down in the comments below. So we mix the centerpieces together. We had some large floral centerpieces, some low floral centerpieces, the low and lush. We had the mirror. Um, the mirrored glass candelabras that were absolutely gorgeous we had tons and tons of uh, candle light which i just think really makes the room look amazing and then in the center we just kind of made that whole center area a focal point and it turned out absolutely fabulous now the flower wall that you guys see in the background is from rosemorning.com and on the stage is where the bride and groom um, set and it just was so beautiful for them to overlook the stage and the band was actually in the back of the room so that the bride and groom could enjoy the entertainment from the band um, also they had a comedian so it just turned out amazing next up is the bridal party tables and the parents table we put all of those in the center of the room and so I thought this was a great way to kind of um, share that with that that space with the bridal party was to create just kind of a VIP table for the parents. The linen that you guys see here is custom um, and I just I absolutely love it. Now those who have attended Lux Academy, they do have access to all of my custom vendors that I may not share here. Um, but everything that I can share, I will place it down in the description box below. My friend Terry, along with the students at Lux Academy, did an incredible job with the live florals. We mixed some fresh and some silk all together, and I just could not be happier with the way that they turned out. I love the swirl candle holders. They just looked amazing on the tablescape along with this over the table centerpiece. You guys, it is absolutely incredible. Um, it makes such a dramatic statement in the room. And I just love the way that it turns out. Now, one of the other things I like to do is when I'm videoing or filming an area, I like to look into the camera versus looking at it with my natural eye. It allows me to see a lot of, you know, 
provisions that need to be made, um, a lot of things that may need to be, you know, just kind of um, fixed. And so I love for things to be perfect. <laughs> I know like in, in the real world, you know, everything is not 100% perfect, but I think that's one of the things that really distinguishes our designs and that is our attention to detail. So you will see me kind of adjust things as I share with you the entire room. Um, and it just allows you to see different things that uh, are done and you're like, oh, let me go ahead and fix this. You know, um, one of the things that happened was that uh, when you are doing a bridal table after the wedding, it's always the man and then the, the woman. And so what I noticed was that the missus was first and the and not the mister. And so once the wedding is over, it's always mister and missus. Unfortunately, I didn't catch this whenever the professional photography was being done, but I did catch it before the video. So that's just a prime example of why it's important to get, you know, videos and kind of, you know, go over your space um, before all of the professional photos are taken. So this is kind of what the space looked like you guys it is absolutely beautiful we were still awaiting um the cakes to you know to come and so you will see that we do have a place on either side of the stage for the cakes but the cakes had not arrived so with that being said i'm going to give you guys a little music for your listening pleasure so that you can see the remainder of the details
Now that you have seen the complete design, I would love to know your favorite aspect by you commenting down below. I loved, you know, this over the table centerpiece. It's probably one of my favorite centerpieces um, we've ever assembled. But I also love the bud vases underneath along with the candlelight just to bring a little bit of extra warmth, interest, and texture to the bottom of the table. I also love the way that we mixed and matched the textures and blended the textures in the tablecloths. We have crinkled taffeta, we have satin, we have lace, we have velvet. But as you look throughout this room, it does not, you know, conflict with one another. It actually complements each other really well. And so I think that mixing and matching textures is definitely an art and is something that I spend some time with in Lux Academy as well. I'm teaching my students how to mix and match textures and how to make the entire room come together beautifully. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I will see you at the next one. Bye-bye.